A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. Welcome everyone to the first episode of the AC Horsens Road to Glory on FIFA 23. AC Horsens are a team in the Danish Superliga. They have pretty nice uniforms, which is why I have used them previously in the past. They also have board expectations that are pretty manageable, so another reason why I will be using them. In the starting lineup is we're just going to go for a simple 4-2-3-1. Don't think we need to do anything crazy. There's no... You know, it's just a pretty solid average all-around team. No big no big players I really want to go out and get. I think it's just going to have to be a slow, continuous improvement of the team. So we're going to be starting things off with a youth academy, sending a scout to Denmark for half a year, sending a scout to Estonia, and a scout to Russia. First, well, departure technically, I mean, it's a loan deal for the lack starting goalkeeper normally, but... He, he's, he's currently the backup, so plan is to loan him out for these, this year. A couple other players have been sold, nothing too crazy, just bringing in a little bit more cash. Kilrick has been sold to CD Lugo for 700k, so we are starting to get a good chunk of money, including the sale of Makinok for just under a million. And Philip Hansen is joining the team from the Youth Academy, he's a pretty good dribbler. Obviously have a development plan on him to get up that passing up. Also joining is Millie Schmidt, who's the opposite, who is much better of a passer rather than a dribbler. And we've got a couple other players, no, nothing too crazy, just a little bit of depth to add to the squad. Lucas Jorgensen is joining the team, defensive midfielder, 74-94 potential. Definitely expect to see him for a long time in this series. Same goes for Kieran Collins, Irish right midfielder. He's very quick and he's very good all round dribbling, passing, and shooting. Which, playing in this 4 3 1 the way I play, exactly what I need from those outside midfielders. Magnus Nygaard is also joining the team. He's currently a center mid, switching him to attacking mid. He's 6 foot 1, so it's nice to have a little bit of size up there. And just a pretty good average attacking midfielder. Nikolai Johansson is also joining the team. Goalkeeper, he's young. Probably send him out on loan for a year or two, come back be a starter. And Dykov, Russian, and he's got the long throw trait, which is pretty much the only reason he's joining the squad. Got two player sales here of Millie Schmidt, who just joined the club, and Nimi, who's been here for a while. Dykov is going on a tier loan move to Finn Harps over in Ireland, and Collins will be going on a tier loan move to Burton Albion over in England. And at the halfway point, we are the second worst team in the division, but when I chose this team, that's kind of the reason why. You know, we are the second worst team on paper, so it makes sense that we are this way in the tables as well. Scouts now are going to Denmark for half a year to get some defenders, going to Estonia for half a year to get some strong players, and going to Russia for half a year to get some attackers. A couple other players have been sold, nothing that notable. Elijah Just has been sold to Sydney FC over in Australia, earning us 1.1 million. And we have a couple of loan moves, Nygaard to Morkum, Hansen to Dusseldorf, Henriksen to Sarpsborg, and Jorgensen to Annecy. And joining the team from Random Club in Nor Norway that I don't know how to pronounce is CD Jada, 851k. I've used him previously in the past in my Barrel Road to Glory on FIFA 22, but I never he never really got a chance to develop and be the player that I really wanted him to be, so... I figured why not try it again you know when we're using AC Horsens we need a new I wanted a new younger striker we only have old guys and he's grown I think three inches since last year so he's bigger much more of a physical striker now and there's no time better than the present Conrad Schmidt is joining the team from the youth academy five foot ten center back which normally I'm not a big fan of but after playing a little bit I, I, I realized you kind of need that smaller quicker center back to pair with a bigger stronger center back at least in my opinion so gonna be bringing on conrad schmidt and that leaves room to sell jansen who was our starting center back to fc vizela over in i believe portugal damian Sorensen sold to varberg bois over in sweden nikolai johansson is going on a one year loan move to newport county and we did get knocked out of the cup I think it might have been in the quarterfinals to FC Midland on penalties, but 
they're one of the best teams in the league, so that's pretty impressive. But now it's time for a game against Lingby BK as we host them at the Forum Horsens Arena. Starting lineup that we're going for is the same from the start of the season except for Schmidt starts at left center back and Jada starts up top. Here are the highlights. It's with Santos. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Pass the ball with authority. That's a useful cross. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. So we went on to win this game 3-2 thanks to a brilliant performance from Jada. We actually scored four goals, but you know, unfortunately one was in the wrong net. Now it's time for another game against Viborg FF, who, if you remember from earlier, were the worst team in the league, and let's hope let's hope they stay that way. And we're going for the same lineup because I mean it worked last game, why wouldn't it work this game? Here are the highlights. Cross it in here. Ready to fire. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Can he make it 1 0? And he puts it away confidently. Grot on the ball. A well timed pass. And there it is! They'll get ready for the throw in. Plenty of support here. Good looking cross. Another goal! So we lost six. Zero. Now normally, you know, it's like, oh, how do we lose this game, blah, blah, blah. I mean, any of you who have played FIFA, you know. Especially, it seems to happen more on, like, Legendary and Ultimate difficulty. Like, there are some games where the, you are just not meant to win. You can try as hard as you want. You are just not meant to win. And this was one of those games. No matter how much you tried, you were just not meant to win. A couple other players joined the team from the Youth Academy. Nothing too special. Again, just a couple more depth players. Don't expect any of these players to be here long term, except for Anu and Palu. Estonian left wing back. He's very physical, he's quick, and he's good all around everywhere else. 5'8, but he's physical, so he's good jumping, good strength. That's not an issue. I expect to be him to be a our starting left back for the rest of the series. Idiot. 
I don't know how to say that name. He's been sold. Andreas Hermanson has been sold as well for a quarter mil. Balulu E for just over a quarter of a mil. Noah Simonson joined the team from the Youth Academy. 62 overall, 71 to 91 potential. Nothing too you know, spectacular out of the world, but high enough overall where he could be a starting center back for us next year. And in the league, finished second to last. Not great, but considering the squad that we had, I don't feel that bad about it. Got knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Cup by FC Midland. And we had a couple of players appear in just about every single game because I didn't bother rotating anyone because I don't even care about half these players of the club. But CD Jada, though, is someone I really do care about. He was our leading goal scorer with 10, considering he only made 16 appearances. I expect to see a lot more goals from him next season. And Cruz led the team in assists with 7. A couple players are leaving the club once their contract expires. Brolin, who was out on loan, but Delatch is coming back. And Hansbo, but Emplu just got promoted, so that's not an issue for us. And overall-wise, we have lost more than twice the amount of games we have won. But, you know, considering the situation we're in, that's actually not that bad. And looking at the team next year, might spruce up the midfielders a little bit. Gets bring in, buy some younger players. But I feel good about the back line. I feel good about Jada. I just think that middle five might just might need a little bit of improvement. But that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Just gotta keep continuing on. I don't know exactly how European spots work over in the Danish league, so. I think if you win a cup, you get to place in a qualifier for the Conference League. I think it's how it is for most Euro like smaller European countries. So, probably focus on winning the cup over the league. And then we can just see how things go. Hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you all in the next episode.